Remember 2018? Emotion kick off the year with a V10F. Then King Sound, which is like, hold on a second, you like the 16S? Bang! 18 out, bigger and better. Ninebot jumped in, which is like, oh, you thought we were done? No! Z10, 4 inch wide tire like you've never seen it before. And Godway wouldn't be left out in the cold and was like, MSX, 40 miles per hour top speed, the fastest wheel ever made. 2019 was slightly more low key. We had the 60 inch revolution. Godway started the year with the Nikola, complete redesign from their prior wheels, wider torque gear, and upped it with 100 volt. And Kingsound matched it with their brand new 16X. Compact, even torque gear, and complete redesign. So in 2020, this is what we got so far. That is, until right in the middle of me making this video, Emotion dropped a bombshell of a wheel intro on all of us, the V11. I'm going to tell you why I think this wheel is the most exciting development since my favorite electric unicycle, the Z10. That and more. Roll the intro! As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and wait till the end for a preview of next episode. So all the way until basically last week, 2020 has been a huge disappointment when it comes to the launch of new electric unicycle models. The only wheel that had been dropped so far was the MS Pro, which was an incremental upgrade to the M Super line of wheels from Gotway. And I almost hesitate to use that term since, let's be honest, one of the main reasons why people were attracted to the MSX, its predecessor, was that it was and still is the fastest electric unicycle in the market. And despite the introduction of a more powerful motor, the reduction of the top speed for the MS Pro was viewed by many to be a bit of a letdown. Yes, I get that the torque was notably improved with the introduction of the 2500 watt motor and I wrote the MS Pro and it is definitely noticeably different. Now I'm still waiting for an opportunity to spend some quality time on it so I can form some real opinion, but here is the baseline. The M Super line of wheels desperately needed a refresh, not just an incremental upgrade. But unfortunately, Gotway has said that they're basically done till next year. Neither have Kingsong made any announcement. The only thing that they would say is that they are working on an 18-inch model and plan on dropping it sometime this year. But other than that, nada. Okay, things are coming quick and fast now. By the time you see this, King Song had released their 18 inch wheel and I promised to get to that next week. I was going to put together a video basically speculating and talk about some of the things that I really would like to see in future models. But then in motion of all people dropped a bombshell of an announcement last week. This has been a pet peeve of mine when it comes to electric unicycle manufacturers. I just really never get the sense that there is much acknowledgement on their part when it comes to their customer base, as in us. I mean, Jason from eWheel does an amazing job advocating for quality as well as our interests, but for the most part, it has been pretty much a one-way street. They produce wheels, and we buy them. And when major issues arises, sometimes they get fixed, sometimes they don't. Which had been the first thing that impressed me with Emotion's release. There were teaser images, posts on the EUC forum, promise of a live stream on Valley event, something that no other electric unicycle companies, including Naiba, had done before. Charles, the CEO, also gave a long interview to Yuko, shout out a link below, where he talks about their goal and aspiration for their products. And that brings us to the biggest point of contention when it comes to this new wheel, its top speed. Now Charles, as part of his interview, acknowledged the fact that because of the steeper learning curve associated with electric unicycle, for the most part, the ridership are a lot more skillful than, let's say, people who ride an electric scooter. After all, if you're a beginner on an electric unicycle, you're gonna have a hard time just making your way down the hallway, and the chance of you attempting to tap the top speed of your wheel is going to be slim to numb. 
and with that, he promised to up the speed limit of the V11. And just so you know, even before the interview, I have heard rumor of an increase of speed limit to 35 miles per hour. But when it was finally unveiled on Friday, 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometer per hour was the stated speed limit. Doesn't seem like that much of a difference, you said. Well, to have that discussion, we need to take a step back and look at the feel. Of all the flagship wheels, the Emotion V10F had been the slowest of the bunch at 25 miles per hour. The 9Bot Z10 tops out at 28 miles per hour, the Kingsound 18XL 31, and the MSX 42 maybe question mark because it's weight depending and yes speed is not everything but if you're dealing with the very top end of the market of aspirational wheels it does matter one of the first thing that random stranger would ask about my wheels are usually how fast does it go practically cruising around the streets I usually do between 25 and 30 miles per hour and occasionally when the traffic opens up a little bit more I would peak somewhere around 35 maybe even 36 miles per hour and that matches the speed and traffic pattern here in New York City and I suspect that it is the case with a lot of the other places around the world as well since that is about the range of what a 125cc scooter would do in the streets one of the most popular form of transportation around the world the caveat here is that those are Gateway Monster Speed, which with its 22 inch tire is an outlier. I wouldn't really feel comfortable cruising at the same speed on the Z10 even if it was capable of going that fast. And yes, skill does matter and there are those who can comfortably and safely maintain those speed like Sound Rider here in New York City. But what most people miss are the crazy amount of miles and experience these guys really pile on. But discounting the extreme examples, 31 miles per hour is okay, 35 would have been better, but this is not why you should be excited about this wheel. Yes, I'm interested in the design. I'm actually happy that Emotion is finally moving away from the popular UFO shape, which I personally think actually limits the development of electric unicycle because of its inefficiencies. The battery management system sounds like a huge upgrade to not just intelligence, but safety. The lights are nice, so are the wider tire and trolley handle on shore, but we are here for the biggest innovation that had happened to the electric unicycle industry since the introduction of the four inch tire on the Z10. Suspension! This is a huge technological breakthrough and although I'm still a little bit skeptical as to how well it will actually work, I applaud the willingness on the part of Emotion to invest in their engineering and design to make such a leap. Charles has said that it took them more than a year to develop the concept and another to bring it into production. This is a level of commitment and investment that I had pre previously only thought possible for Ninebot, a much larger company to do, and Emotion pull it off. And the reason why I'm excited about this is not just for the practical benefit of cushioning a ride, but that this is a fundamental change to the structure of an electric unicycle. The one thing shared between every single unicycle ever made is that you stand on the axle of the wheel. Since we steer with our feet, a direct mechanical connection was required to maintain maximum control. But that had also been our greatest limitation. Since our legs are the only shock absorber available that cap our top speed and limit the potential terrain we can traverse and all sorts of other things. Imagine trying to build a car without shocks, it will be impossible for the thing to go above 40 miles per hour on a bad road, it will just shake itself apart. And it isn't a new concept, as I have seen video of prior experimentation Gateway conducted on their own model, but given the technological hurdle of coming up with something that works works without compromising control, I wasn't surprised that they gave up on it. But that all changed with the introduction of the V11. This means that all the other manufacturers would also have to now consider developing similar technology to stay competitive. King Sound already said that they're working on their own version, perhaps to be introduced as part of their new 18 inch flagship wheel this year, I can only keep my finger crossed. 
Like the development of suspension on bicycle, I think this is a change that will revolutionize the industry. And I suspect it may also be the reason behind the insane $14,000 premium wheel Charles had hinted at in his interview. This was the missing piece that will finally allow us to push the performance envelope to the next level. And oh man, look at the time! I somehow managed to waste another 10 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheels is to grow as a community. So tell your friends and teach them how to ride and get them hooked! Next week, I can only revise my script so many times while they keep dropping new wheels in the middle of my video making. What I think about the new King Sound 18-inch wheel.